Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're taking a look at a second dinosaur from the Wave 1 mid-sized dinosaur. This is a Geosternbergia, the Pteranodon that we did not get in Lost World, but we got in the Lost World, I guess. <laughs> so let's take a look. Pretty cool, really enjoy the color, really remind me of the one from Hasbro we had. Pretty cool. Looks like the maquette. And this is him. And it does not have the photo of the actual dinosaur because it wasn't in the Lost World. So that's pretty cool. Let's open it and check it out. All right, so got it out of the package. This one I am extremely impressed with. I didn't think I would really be a fan of it because I'm not a fan of much of the flyers because it was just hard to pose and, you know, put in your collection. But this one is, is awesome. From the color to the crest, Everything about this figure is awesome. Um, it's great to get pieces like this from the Amber Collection. So this stand doesn't actually come with the figure. For whatever reason, they decide not to put a stand in it. But this one I got from the Dimethodon and the Amber Collection. So that worked out. Um, let's start take a look at this figure. So this dinosaur we never actually saw in any of the movies. This was actually one of the maquettes that they made for The Lost World for a deleted scene and they never used it so therefore they turned it into pteranodon by the time we saw the movie so that's why the color reminds you of the one from the lost world even down to the one we got from kenner so the unique one we have is this crest this is uh kind of the first time we got it um we also got one from the legacy collection that was supposed to come out last year but it came out everywhere but the United States, so we didn't see any of it. So now we got this version, which is a hundred times way better. So let's start off with the head. The crest, one of a kind, along with the color, amazing. Um, It's not as big as the one from Amber Collection, but wow, look at this. Mouth open, no teeth. There is no teeth in this. Pretty cool, right? Because all the other ones are pretty much have teeth in it. It's kind of weird, Jurassic Park ones. Um, so this one also has articulated wings, huge wingspan, um, articulated legs down to the feet because you can pose it sitting. So that's, we're going to try to attempt this afterwards. And it also has articulated little hands, little hands like little bats. So there's wires in the wings so you can pose it all differently. Pretty cool, right? So you can go up and down. But the thing I did notice is, um... I haven't really tried it, but the neck should be able to go up and down, but it's kind of stuck. So I'm scared, kind of like joints might be glued too hard. So mine doesn't, my range of motion isn't as exciting, but let's see if I can make that pose happen. All right, and here we are able to make this pose that none of our other Tyrannodons can do thanks to the wiring in the wings. I feel like the head, if it can move, it would have made this figure a little better. But again, it might have been just the sample I got that doesn't really turn us up, up and down as much as it should have. But pretty cool. The wires in the wing were able to make it all different. You know, now you can display it this way. Or if you have the stand, you can display it higher. So pretty cool. Thank you for watching. See you guys next time.